Hi, and welcome to the latest edition of DIY Lounge, the vlog. Uh, I'm Richard, and this is my co-host, Jen. And um, we just want to let everyone know about some things that are coming up in the community. It's almost October, and things are really gearing up in the crafting community. Lots of events, lots of sales. Um, Jen is involved with one. Why don't you tell them a little bit about that? Sure, yeah. So I have a sale that I am co-organizing. Um, it's called Give Handmade Sale, and it's a really cool sale. I think the thing that's distinctive and unique about this event is that we do a fundraiser for the Oregon Food Bank. So all of these like locally handmade vendors come in and sell their wares, and we raise money for the Oregon Food Bank, as well as the artists making money, and um, the public can get involved as well. They can donate money to the Oregon Food Bank. They can um, uh, bring non-perishable items to the sale, as well as shopping and purchasing from great local artists. So that event is happening on November 28th, and it is at the Left Bank Annex between 11 and 5. And if people want to learn more about that event, you can learn more at givehandmadesale.com. And yeah, so that's a little bit about that. And Jen and I are really excited to announce something that's coming up. We are um, emceeing an event for a company called Scrap, which is a local company that reuses products in creative pursuits. So people can go to their store and buy stuff if um, it's secondhand, uh, a lot of liquidated stuff that's donated. And we, close out, clearance, all that stuff. It's great, you can get fabric, you can get all kinds of stuff there. They, uh, their website is scrapaction.org and the event that we're going to be emceeing is called Incognito and it's their annual fundraiser which will be taking place October 28th at the Oregon Zoo. And there will be a junk to funk fashion show where uh, fashion designers make um, outfits out of reused materials. Um, there's going to be a dinner. There's going to be a silent auction as well as a live auction. And Jen and I will be overseeing the whole thing. And it's going to be really fun. Yeah, it's going to be great. And I don't know if you mentioned this, but it's going to be a masquerade ball as well. Oh, which right, is of fabulous. course. Because we love Halloween. Yes, it's we do. It's our favorite. And yes, I'm sure a lot of people are going to come with fabulous, handmade, reused, recycled masks that they've made themselves. And uh, if you want to learn more about that, you can visit our website at DIYLounge.com or you can visit ScrapAction.org which is the official website for Scrap. Um, Jen and I will also be selling our wares, which we do when we're not doing this, um, at a couple other sales, which is the Lewis Bazaar, uh, Lewis Elementary, which Jen's son Oliver attends, and both her and I will be raising money for the school with our wares. Uh, we'll be giving a percentage of our sales. And we'll also be doing Abernathy. You know a little bit more about that school. I have yeah, not done it yet. yeah. You know, actually, Abernathy is a school that um, some friends of ours have kids that go there, which is how I know about this school. And it's a sale that's really pretty new, but I know that they are still taking applications until September 30th. So there's a few more days for people to apply. And I know that they're still looking for vendors. I actually got an email today from the woman who's organizing, and she said, We're still looking for people. So I think it's a great way for artists to get involved in the community and helping the community by also really helping themselves, you know? So it's, it's kind of a win-win everybody makes out. Yeah, and that's the great thing about the Portland um, creative community is uh, not only do people try and move their businesses forward, but they also try and help the less fortunate, and we're really happy to be involved in all these events that are going to be doing just that. It's our chance to give back as well as make a little money for ourselves. So uh, please come to our website, DIYLounge.com, if you want more information on these events and more. And uh, we have some great new surprise uh, things that we're working on right now. We'd love to tell you about it, but then we'd have to kill you. Yeah. So and we don't believe in killing. Yeah. So, um, no violence. No violence. Just creativity here. Yeah, right. So uh, we will be announcing those things in um, a our next upcoming vlog or vlogs so because there's a lot of great stuff around the bend so thanks for joining us today and uh, we look forward to talking to you again and yes, remember stay tuned and don't, don't deny, deny your, your DIY. DIY thanks a lot take care